Tomorrow's Belgian Grand Prix has been postponed after drivers practicing today complain the track was dangerous. It was recently resurfaced but has crumbled on several corners. After it was swept clear of debris, officials decided it would be impossible to keep the cars under control. At Wembley, Wigan won the first ever Freight Rover trophy, beating Brentford 3-1 in the final. The competition is for third and fourth division clubs and the match attracted a crowd of nearly 40,000 people. Wigan in the all-blue strip took the lead after 26 minutes. Mike Newell, the scorer. 14 minutes later, a careless ball out of defence let in Tony Kelly to put Wigan two up. Brentford pulled a goal back soon after half-time. Jamie Murray laying on the chance for Robbie Cook. But Wigan sealed a victory six minutes later. David Lowe making no mistake from the corner. So the cup went north, but both sides contributed to a fast, open game. Michael Blakey on a trouble-free day sport. That's all from the newsroom this Saturday evening. Good night. Hello. Today's hottest spot was in fact Exeter with 23 Celsius, 73 Fahrenheit. The sunniest again, Skegness, 15.7 hours. But Skeggy was also one of the coldest places in the free world. The reason is these cool northeasterly winds. But this high will give another couple of days of fine weather for most of us. With these fronts just rubbing up against the far north of Scotland there. That's the position by Monday. Tonight though, a pretty fine night just about everywhere. A chilly night too in some parts. Just a touch of ground frost, chiefly in Wales and the Midlands there. Tomorrow, a lot of cloud just to start with, but the sun very soon blowing all that away. That's the position by the end of the morning. And those are the maximum temperatures we expect in the afternoon. 23 Celsius is 73 degrees Fahrenheit. Cool around the coast, especially in the southeast there. 15 Celsius, just 59 degrees Fahrenheit. But where the winds come off the sea, that's where the pollen counts are lowest. A northeasterly breeze helps you breathe, tan, and freeze. The outlook, lots more fine weather to come. Uh, some thunderstorms getting into the southwest, we think, later on on Tuesday. But for most of us, fine weather continuing, some rain still in the far north of Scotland. Finally, a recap of tomorrow's weather, mainly sunny. Good night. A new series is about to start on BBC Two as Russell Davis presents a Saturday review of the arts and media with discussion and comments from Henry Porter of the Sunday Times, lecturer and critic Hermione Lee and artist Bruce McLean. Programmes for Sunday night on BBC One. At 6.40, Thora Heard presents a selection of hymns in Praise Be. And then at 7.15, Sorry. Come on, boo, eh? Last time, I mean, that avocado dip was sensational, wasn't it? Be honest. And we had enough left over to give two coats to the living room ceiling. <laughs> at 7.45, the Paul Daniels Magic Show. Another chance to see the special programme which recently won the Golden Rose Award at Montreux. As well as the chimpanzees, Paul's guests include the juggling trio Air Jazz and Tom Noddy, the bubble guy. At 8.25, Wicker's World and the QE2 reaches Hong Kong en route for its final destination, Red China. For passengers remaining on board, there's honey still for tea and only a passing face at the window to remind them shipboard life is not as usual. That's Life at 9.15 features a student recorder player who was just too good for the examiner and a wonderful surprise at Brighton Station for Sally Dawson. <laughs> I'm just not seeing this. I'm just not seeing it. <laughs> at 10.50, in a change to the published programme, a tribute to the late Roy Plumley, Desert Island Discs. And that's the full lineup of programmes for Sunday night here on BBC One. Now, our late film on BBC One is Malcolm McDowell heads the cast of Lindsay Anderson's controversial film about Britain in the early 70s, Oh Lucky Man. Oh, lucky man.